everyone, welcome back to the Going Zero Waste YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking all about the dirty secret in your washing machine, microplastics. This video was sponsored by the Make It Feel Right campaign, because today we're gonna to be talking about some snuggly alternatives that don't involve plastic. When you hear microplastics, you probably think about microbeads, or at least I do. But in fact, some of the worst offenders might actually be your fleece jackets, your sweaters, or your yoga pants. Fabrics like polyester and acrylic are actually made from plastic, and when they're washed, they can release microplastic pieces into the waterways. A study by Plymouth University found that a single load of clothes could release up to 700,000 microplastic pieces every wash. And to make matters worse, Orb Media did a study where they found 84% of drinking water worldwide was contaminated with microplastic pieces so small they couldn't be filtered out. <clears throat> and don't think that buying bottled water is going to be the solution because the plastic bottles all tested positive too. Instead, here are a few ways that you can help solve this problem. First is try and stretch your washes. So make sure that something is actually dirty before you throw it into the washing machine. You can also air out your clothes and then invest in something like a bag, a ball, or a filter for your washing machine to try and collect these particles. And then when you're out shopping, make sure that you're opting for natural fibers. So something like organic cotton or ethical and sustainable wool, or one of my favorite plant-based fibers, tinsel. Tinsel, this dress that I'm wearing currently, is made from wood pulp. It's actually made from eucalyptus. Plant-based fibers, unlike their plastic counterparts, will biodegrade. So when you're through with them, you can actually compost them and they will turn back into soil. To make the fiber, amine oxide is used to dissolve the cellulose and set the fiber while spinning. During this process, 99% of the amine oxide can be recovered, making this a fully closed loop process. And Linzing, which runs the pulp mill where tinsel is made, is powered by renewable energy, making this one of the most eco-friendly fabric choices. Tinsel is soft, it's strong, it drapes well, it's resistant to wrinkles, and can actually simulate a variety of fabrics like silk, leather, suede, even denim. These man-made cellulose-based fibers are really durable. They're gonna provide the kind of stability a synthetic fiber has without all the bad stuff associated with it, like plastic in the drinking water. And have we even talked about sweating? because synthetic fibers are made from plastic. They're not breathable, which causes you to sweat more, which means you have to do more laundry. And I, for one, am all for less laundry. To learn more, please visit makeitfeelright.com to join the sustainable fashion movement and so you can make it feel right. All right, well, if you learned something new in this video, please give it a thumbs up and press that red subscribe button to be notified when new videos are coming out. And I will see you next week with a new video. Bye.